What the hell is it? What? Where does this key go to? I think there's a door in the mansion that has that key that I need, isn't it? Sounds about right. Actually, I'll keep that on me because we need to go find where it goes. Okay, so allegedly it opens this door over here. I had to look it up, kind of cheated, but I fucking, I looked forever to try to figure out where that key went. Apparently it goes right here. Yep, okay. Sweet. Progress. What the hell's in here? Yeah, turn it on. Heal. Get the... And a crest. <clears throat> Metal object. I can combine that with the other object. And then I think I can get in the basement now, right? Because they both take... They take two of those. Because the other one looks like that one, just with an outside. But I have that for... Okay, well, I think I know where we're going now. I think I know. I have to grab the other crest, though. I learned the first one fit down there. It wasn't the one I needed. Or, well, it, at the time, I couldn't... I didn't have the other one. Yeah, this is exactly the same stone thing. I said to combine that stone thing with it. I don't know why the window was wide open. To be honest. Okay, I'm gonna go through here. I have to get myself ready. Go down into the basement. Okay, so let's put... Fine, okay. I can have both the things go in the basement. Um... Uh, we're good to go. All right. Let's go open her up. Oh, let me save. I can't save. Eh, I'll save at some point soon. Dies right now, loses progress, bro. I'd be so mad. Now I'm gonna open these doors and then I'm gonna go back. Well, no, I guess I might as well go down or whatever the hell is down there. I just hope I don't need to save, you know. I do have 18 acid rounds, so there's that. Huh? 
Oh, I have to use it right here. <laughs> oh boy. Fit nearly neatly into the door. Open it. Yes. Boy, spoopy. An old typewriter. Oh, they want me to fucking save right there, don't they? Oh, there's an item box. Okay, cool, cool. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save right now. Just in case. Kinda looks like they want me to. Save. All right. Gotta bring some items with me. Put this back. This seems kind of sketchy, so we're gonna bring a magnum. We're gonna bring the magnum rounds. We're gonna go. We're gonna roll in wherever we're going, fully loaded. I'm gonna get rid of the shotgun shells. I'd rather have the explosive rounds or lethality. Here we go. We're we're ready. Hold more? Nope. Nope, we can't. We're, we're in there. We're ready. You know what? Actually, let's put the shotgun back. I feel like the shotgun's not going to be very useful. Compared to having... I don't know. I guess more grenade launcher rounds, right? Or no, another healing item. Do I have another healing item? Don't. Grab, we'll just grab the screen. I'm ready. Bring it on, world. Looks sketchy. Oh god, this is a riggedy ass fucking bridge. Woo! Going very far down. A deep descent. Me over here. No, it was just for memes. Okay. Alright. Turns out Barry is Nemesis. Be lit. Jill. You're alive. Uh yeah, Barry. I was worried, because I thought you were. Ooh. Start talking. Calm down. I didn't want to do it. Believe me, I can explain. Don't lie to me. Looks like it's time for a fight. I say let him eat berry. Let Lisa eat berry. Ah! Oh, never mind. She's big mad. Ah! Time to talk. Jill, hand me my gun. Give the gun back to Barry or not. Bro. I don't know, man. I don't <laughs> I don't want to give it back to him. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't. Like, I feel like if I would give it back to him, it's gonna turn out to where he's gonna try to kill me again. If I don't give it to him, maybe he'll go hand-to-hand -hand combat with Lisa Trevor, and that would be fun to watch. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not giving you gun back, buddy. I can't do that. Oh, he got it anyways. Barry! Get wrecked, Barry. I don't even feel remorse for him, Jill. Oh, man. I already have a hand cannon. I don't need that one. Ow. Okay, I got... She fucking hit me to caution? 
hit me in the red in one hit. Barry's photograph. This is the photograph that fell out of Barry's shirt just before he fell under the pit. Something written on the back. We love you, Daddy. From your sweet daughters. Aura and Polly. Oof. Oof. I mean, in my defense, though, like... I don't know, man. He did just betray me. Whatever happens here with Lisa, I just need to do this part of it. What I just do? Oh. Okay, um... So the coffin is a skeleton. Wait, there's something else. A family picture. It's a letter. To my Lisa, day and day I can feel my consciousness drifting further away. Shots given to me by men in white clothes made some of mommy's itching go away. Today they gave me another shot saying it was nutrition. When they give me the shots, mommies can think straight. But mommy's shocked and sad because mommy's unable to think of you all the time. Mommy's afraid, afraid of forgetting everything, especially the memories of you and daddy. What your faces look like, how we used to be together, they're all starting to disappear into somewhere dark in my mind. Oh, Lisa, I wish I could touch your face and hold you in my arms right now so that I can hold on to our wonderful memories of you and daddy. Lisa, we can't stay here any longer. We have to escape. Listen to me, Lisa. Our chance to escape is the next time is the next time when we go to the lab together. We'll both pretend that we are both unconscious. And when the men in white clothes is off guard, that'll be our chance. When we're on the outside, let's look for daddy together. Okay, sweetie? Be strong, Lisa. November thirteenth, nineteen sixty seven. Jessica Trevor. Oof. So she was killed. Lisa Trevor wandered with the T-Virus, or the Progenitor Virus, wandered looking for her, and I just found her for her, and it was her dead body, so she just eated herself off the side. Damn. That's rough. I've always heard about this story, like, I like I know a little bit about this game, but I didn't know anything about this. Like, I knew about Lisa Trevor, like, the, who she was, like, the name of her, and, like, because she was, like, a a character and like you know like a uh, like boss battles and stuff but i didn't know anything about her backstory and uh oof dude uh, the dad was killed off they were both injected with a t-virus and she eventually died and lisa just i guess wandered looking for her damn kind of feel bad for her man that's really fucked And then Barry got yeeted as well. <laughs> Barry kind of deserved it, so it's fine. When I had the gun to your head, you'd be like, well, I had a reason for it. This is my reason. And we could have been over with it, but nope. You're expecting me to give you your gun back. Yeah. Okay. Sure, bud. What was all this? Wolf shaped. Oh, I have these little carvings, or these little metal medallion thingies. Do I need to get in the in here? A large iron door. Okay, I have to go back to the chest then. I have to get those things back. Damn, dude, that's rough. Oof. I guess by me not giving Barry his gun, I got that gun, but I already have one right here. So. I got one earlier in the game. I guess if I didn't get it, that was a good way to get a good weapon. Or I guess I just killed Barry for no reason. 
That's okay. Fuck a berry. I don't need him. Who needs Barry? Fell asleep. What the fuck is going on? I had a lot happen with Barry and Lisa Trevor, and I'm almost in the facility, I think. I just had to get these medallions for these doors. I'll put the revolver away. Doesn't seem like I really need it. And I'll also put these away because I don't think I need it either. Grab those big boys right there. All right. Now we can go open the facility door. Let's see if we're on the uh, traitor thing. Who was the traitor? It was Barry. Barry was pulling strings. And then eventually he... I got him and he tried to kill me with a gun. He put it to me, but I turned it on him. And then when I turned it on him, he was like, Give me the gun! And then Lisa Trevor came out and we, it was like a boss battle kind of thing. But I had to decide to either give him the gun or not give him the gun. And I was like, No, fuck that, because he's going to fucking betray me again. So I didn't give him the gun. And this is where he died. <laughs> he got yeeted off the side. And, uh, yeah. So Barry's dead, I think. And his revolver's on the ground. But I already have his revolver, so... I guess him dying was pointless. But I'm not gonna give him his gun back. Especially if you're gonna threaten to kill me. You're gonna try to kill me one time. And then threaten to kill me the second time. I'm not gonna give you your gun back. I don't care if there's fucking somebody about to kill you. Ain't happening. You had every way to tell me... Had every way to tell me you were going to be fine. We could have talked it out, but nope. Didn't want to say anything. Didn't get a gun back. Alright. I need the wolf one. Yep. I'm assuming the eagle one goes over here or whatever. Here we go. Damn, this perfectly rendered cutscene. Beautiful. That's weird. Oh boy. This looks sketchy. Use the elevator, yeah? Let's go. Let's go. Can I go right here? No, I can't. Just a ladder. Typewriter, ink ribbons, and a chest. I don't like that at all. I will save, though, and then we will get some good weapons. Hope it works out. I think we're close to the end here. That's about it. Pick this herb up, why not? Oh, I can't pick up two. Uh, 
Oh. I was also in yellow. The mo, mo discs or all downstairs, okay. damn zombies. I can go through here, though. What the hell is in here? Should I examine this? Appears to be a disc for rebooting a system of... Okay. Levers for releasing the door locks. Now, if you can just release the locks of the levers. Uh. Okay. There's only a power area. Also locked. I'm gonna go back and save, and I'm not going to get off. All right, we're back. Nighttime again. And let's fucking finish this game. I'm ready. I don't know how long this area is gonna last, but we are here. Uh, I'll pick my shotgun up. Because I feel like having my shotgun on me might be important, since I don't have any boss battles probably for a bit. So, we're gonna roll with a shotgun because it's best for the big stuff. Probably gonna be facing some weird shit. Okay, so I got that CD. Is the CD back here? Wait a minute. Hold up. What save did it go off of? Did I never pick the CD up? In the chest. Oh. That's not fun. Okay, then we went back and saved it. Why? Okay. Okay, the CD's over here. That's just slightly annoying. Dead. Drop dead. Alright, here's the CD. I remember where it was there this was. I mean, all these doors are locked, yeah, electronically. I had to figure out how to get them on. What's up, dear? What's up, okay? FLK. How's it going? Uh, I need to go eat one of these green herbs. Y'all ready to watch me beat this game? And then right in time for us to play some uh, beta tomorrow. And then in a couple days, it's out last time. That last time, boys. Not a drill. But I hate every minute of it. Nah, I'm joking. I'll probably end up liking it at some point. But for a good bit, I'm going to be like, why am I doing this? 
I'll give all my thoughts and opinions on this game at the very end. Oh, oh. I feel that boy's muffin cap back blue. Oh, hell yeah, that last is going to be scary, especially seeing it at night. Oh, it's going to be rough, dude. I'm going to try to line it up, like, right before Halloween. Oh, there's only the power. Okay, it's all power switch shit. Tunnel. Oh, okay. So I was like, where can I go? Are you getting nightmares? You are. Oof. I, I am scared of the dark, so fuck that. I'm going to be even worse. Okay, there's some ammo on the ground that I can grab. Why not? Looks fucking weird. Part of the corpse lies on the operating table. This E Act researchers note: There is now evidence that when the host loses consciousness, the body goes into a dormant state. During this time, the virus becomes active and rapidly transforms and reconstructs the basic composition of the body. The host eventually mutated into a humanoid creature. We call them the VX. Its speed and amazing muscular development are particularly net not noteworthy. After transformation, it becomes more agile and aggressive. Already four of our researchers have died from trying to feed it, turning the place into an instant bloodbath. Ever since this tragic and barbaric accident, we have decided to call its kind Crimson Hill. Oh, okay. I was like, oh, this is going to be something new, but... It's okay. It's not the same. Not only really new. I was about to be real spooked. Uh, that dangerous and uh, precious prototype specimen can't be left there. We have to figure out a way to deal with it. Terminate. Termination is definitely not an option. I'm here chill till like 2 a.m. <laughs> Hell yeah. We finally decided to freeze the specimen and could find the body inside the basement of the backyard cemetery. That's that big ass coffin I fucking bought. In the big coffin. I need a login and a password. I ain't gonna be able. To... Oh, look at it. I was about to say, was that about to work with nothing? Can I leave, please? Can I leave? Can I leave, please? Can, can we leave, please? Oh, there's escape. <laughs> I knew that. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, this looks like the Resident Evil 4 room. With the fucking, uh, the regenerators. If anybody's played Resident Evil 4, you would know what this looks like. This is, uh, that's pretty scary, actually. Pretty terrifying. We'll stay longer, but I got trash school. You're good. I'll beat this game before, too. I can, I can feel that for sure. I should not be taking three hours to finish this last part. Unless I get stuck on, like, a really hard puzzle. We learned a little bit more about Crimson Heads, and we got some magnets. Yeah. Loop back around? Yeah, it does. Might need space in my inventory. I don't have any. I go back and put some stuff down. Right here. Oh, there is a door right here. I have to go do to someone in my family I've come in contact with having the Rona. Oh, good. You don't have to go to school, huh? Oh, this is an item. Okay. All right. So I need to... Oh, this is a puzzle because there's two pieces here. Okay, so I need to finish this puzzle. Uh, researcher's letter, June 8th, 1998. My dearest Ada. Huh. By the time you read this letter, I will no longer be the person you once knew. The results of my test came out today, and as I suspected, it came out positive. I feel like I am teetering on the edge of reason, thinking about my impending doom. I would give anything not to have to become one of them. As far as I know, you are not infected. I sincerely hope things do not reach such a desperate pass. But if it has turned out that you are now the last person remaining alive, I want you to get material from the visual data room. Then activate the self-destruct system in the power room. 
and escape from here. Please do everything in your power to make this whole accident public. If everything is still running normally, you should be able to release all the locks using the security system. I have set up the terminal in the small security room so that you can log into the system with my name and your and your name as a password. Oh. Name. Why don't you say your name? I guess it's at the end of the fucking thing, right? We need we need Ada as the in my name and your name as a password. Ada is the password. Okay. The uh, the basement level two where the visual data room is located. Uh, a safety measure. I have coded that password into an X-ray picture. A Richen wrenched anomogram. Wrenched no genogram. <laughs> I know you. I'm sure you will be able to work it out without any trouble. Huh? Yeah. There is just one more thing. If it's my last request, I hope you never have to lay eyes on me in this state. But if you do happen to run into me in my hideous form, I beg you to put me out of my misery. I hope you understand. Thank you, Ada. Yours truly, John. John Ada. John Ada. Some kind of switch. Press it. Okay, so this is what I'll need to do in a second. I need to go back and put some items back. Then I can come back and finish this puzzle. Unless I, unless John Ada just works as uh computer. I'll go try it. <laughs> 